I told you I was very pleased with my flower, but when I look at it, I still see there's something here that is green that shouldn't be there. So again, I can just left click, go closer, go to my eraser tool, and just go on the edge here, and you see it's quite soft the way it's taking away, like this. And here we have some green shading as well. Just getting rid of it, just like this. And we zoom out again, and we see it doesn't look too bad. Okay, here we have other tools as well in the tools box. I can, for instance, write, but right now you see that the color is green. If you want to see what I'm writing, I will have to choose another color. I can go to this, click it, and then I can find the color. Maybe I should use a red color because that's what we just used now for the flower. I click OK, and now when I start drawing, I will have to click this one again, and when I start drawing, you can see my flower. So I can write flower. Nice is it absolutely not. But it's writing. I can go to the brush, and the same color will be here, but now you see it's it's very different. Again, I have a new box up here giving me more possibilities to how thick should my brush be, how what is the opacity. If I reduce the opacity to 48, it's more dim, like this. And you have different alternatives here as well. It's up to you to find out what you like. And in the next video, we're going to look at the stamp and see how the clone stamp tool works.